Kia ora, I'm Emma and I'm a water quantity scientist in the science and environment team at Nelson City Council. This video is about how to install a rainwater tank in your garden. Collecting rainwater from your roof is a really easy way to be a bit more sustainable around your home. When we use rainwater, we're reducing the pressure on our rivers and aquatic ecosystems. It lessens flooding and erosion, and it means less energy is used to treat and transport water. The water that lands on our roof is free, plus, if we have a civil defence emergency, you'll have a backup supply on hand. Hello, my name's Richard Popenhagen. I'm an Environmental Programs Advisor sitting in the Science and Environment team at Nelson City Council and today we're going to be talking about rainwater harvesting and show you how you can do it easily at home yourself. Obviously you need a tank. Um, this is a proprietary store-bought one but you can use any sort of barrel, open drum, whatever. Um, it's better if it has got a closed lid to re uh, reduce the likelihood of mosquitoes growing in it. We also would li like it on a stand um, so you can get your watering can or bucket underneath the tap. If it's sitting on the ground it makes it hard to get the water out. We also need a device to divert the water into the tank. This is called a, a, a rainwater diverter and we're going to show you how to install that. You also need some brackets, screws, a saw. Sometimes you'll find that the downpipes on the house are a different diameter to the rainwater diverter. For example here, a 65 downpipe, which is very common in most houses, doesn't quite fit. But that's easily solved with one of these, an adapter. So the 65 millimetre downpipe fits in there, the, a little piece of 80 millimetre, and then we can connect into our rainwater diverter. All the stuff is readily available from hardware stores and just makes the job so much simpler and easier to achieve. You might also need some glue to glue it together. If you're using an 80 millimetre downpipe, you don't need any glue, they fit together without glue. But with these adapters, you will need some glue just to um, stick them together in a cloth. And a good idea to have some gloves just to keep your hands away from the glue. Okay, that's what we need. Let's go and find a good spot to install the rain tank. Okay, we've found a really great spot for the tank. It's really close to a handy downpipe and it's also very close to the garden where the water's going to be needed. So we've got a good spot. First thing we need to do is establish a height to put our rainwater diverter. It needs to be above the top of the tank so that we can connect a hose from that to fill with the water into the tank. Um, first thing we need to do is fit a couple of downpipe brackets um, to support the downpipe where we're going to cut it to install the rainwater diverter. So this is the, the next bit we're going to do. We're going to put the bracket in place, a couple of handy little plugs into our pre-drilled holes. And now I'm going to screw the bracket into place. The next stage is making the cut to fit our diverter in there. Now if it was an 80mm downpipe it's very easy, you just stick the sticker on and cut it to the dotted lines, but because we've got the adapter pieces and extra lengths of pipe we need to allow for that. Now I've measured that and I know that I need to go to 325mm. So I'm just going to mark that on, my, on the downpipe here. And now we do the cut. An old builder's adage where you uh, measure twice and cut once, so we'll just check that we've got that right. Okay, the next step is to just make sure all our pieces fit together. So I've got the first bit that I prepared there that goes there. We've got our 80 millimetre extension piece that will fit up into here. This piece slides up here, this slides into here and slides down onto there and we're all set. So that looks like it all fits good. So I can now glue these pieces in place. I'm just going to demonstrate how this um, diverter works. It's very simple, there's a number of different types. But this one, you just twist the top part around and out comes the water. Twist it around, turn it off. Very simple to operate. So you either divert the water to the tank or if the tank's full you can turn it off. 
Okay, we've got our tank in position. We've got the rainwater diverter all set up, ready to go. Simple step to connect it to the tank. Short piece of hose with a hose connector on each end. Just plug in one end onto the diverter and plug the other end into the rain tank. Then we are ready to go, ready for it to start raining and filling our tank. If you'd like to find out more about harvesting rainwater from your roof, brochures are available from our customer service centre or on our website.